Hello, it's my hands. Today I'm going to be discussing the full story of the fairy godmother from Cinderella. From how she was portrayed in Cinderella, she was a kind, loving being who made it her heart, who made it her goal to grant Cinderella's fondest wish to her heart's content. When she, that's how she was portrayed when she arrived to Cinderella in that brief moment in Cinderella to grant her her fondest wish in Cinderella. She turned up into a pouch horse into hands and the mice into horses. But she but she warned Cinderella that the spell will last until midnight. Now speak Hans, fairy godmothers have limitations to their magic. Um they have limitations to their magic as they annoy but they a session to find the church uh, they are people in position for success. She wasn't seen again uh, until Cinderella 2, where she was reading the story of Cinderella to every to the mice. She, she suggests that they do another story about Cinderella when they come up with stories from their Asked, including a story about um, Cinderella defying tradition when she had to be a princess, of Jack Jack turning human, and Cinderella helping Anastasia find love. And then she was seen in Cinderella 3 at Twisting Time, um, celebrating Cinderella and the Prince's first anniversary. Then, um, she accidentally let go of her wand. She tried to find it and she tried to achieve it from Anastasia, but it turned her sugar and she got turned into stone. She wasn't seen again until the end where Anastasia and Cinderella turned her back into, turned her, released her from her stone prison. She offered Cinderella Prince the chance to. Um, she often seemed to the points chance to um, step back to her former lines, but she decided that it, the oh, new timeline was close enough. She was also seen in the Cinderella we made when she was younger, and she, um, and, um, she had the larger wall and was in the way the weight of the film. She she um dressed up as a beggar woman, like in Chanchas in Being to the Beast, to test Cinder's actor, and when Cinder showed her kindness, she revealed her magic herself. She could have been in an, an enchantress in that version, but hey, who how do I know? She was also seen during Descend- the Descendants films, where she was the mother of Jane. Her father had have possibly been the king from Cinderella. And she she was also seen in Twice Charmed, the Disney Who's on Show, where she was also the king's fave godmother. Um, she was also seen in So This Is Love, A Twisted Tale, when it was revealed that her name is Lenore, and as I said, and it's also revealed that, as I said earlier, she had only a position for success. And it was revealed that magic and face was banned in Cinder's kingdom. She was also seen in Serena Valentino's De- Stephen books, where she wasn't as nice as she seemed. She believed that Mal- people like Maleficent and Lady Tremaine were evil, but she does redeem herself, stating that it was their fault 
her and her sister Nanny's phone that they ended up that way. Oh, and it's now especially it from the Faye Dartmouth's story. My question for you today is, do you think Faye Dartmouth was evil or narrow-minded for believing that villains, that certain people are villains? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. And until next time, until next time, even me, I'll take a little time.